Good afternoon, everyone. It's good to see everyone here. My name is Christopher Love, and um, welcome to our Friday Contemplative Practice. I will be hosting and presenting our session today. Our team of presenters, members of the CCC community, offer contemplative practices every Friday at noon to help us to pause from the activity of our week, to reflect more deeply within, to be nourished in spirit, and to join together in community. Today I'll be leading a guided Vipassana meditation. A bit about me, I have been working in the contemplative arts for my whole life it seems like. I once got a master's in counseling, did some traditional work for a while, and now my work has broadened for many years to include kind of a spiritual component. I do spiritual life coaching with people, individuals and relationships. I lead a lot of contemplative experiences locally and online and teach a lot of yoga. I've taught some of you. Um, it's my joy to be with you. It's my passion to work in this, in this contemplative vein and um, very happy to be here today. A bit about Vipassana. Oh, even before that. Uh, a few logistical reminders. The practice will last about 30 minutes and then we'll open the room for sharing. You will be able to unmute yourself during the sharing time. The practice itself will be recorded and the sharing time will not be. And now we can begin. <clears throat> uh, a bit about Vipassana meditation. Perhaps some of you are ex uh, familiar with various types of meditation. Vipassana can be translated, translated as insight meditation. A clear awareness of exactly what is happening as it happens. Vipassana is the oldest of Buddhist meditation practices thought to have been practiced by the Buddha himself. The meditator is trained to notice more and more a flowing of life experience. Vipassana is described as a gentle technique, but also very thorough. It is attentive listening, mindful seeing, and careful testing of our inquiry over time. We learn to acute our senses and to really pay attention to the changes taking place throughout all of our experiences. We learn to listen to our thoughts without being caught up in them and to practice learning to see the truth of impermanence. Through this practice, we slowly become aware of what we really are down below the mind. We wake up to what life really is, a much deeper texture if we look. Observing things objectively, exactly as they are, flowing and changing from moment to moment. Why do we choose breathing as the primary object of meditation? It is portable, it is easily available of course, and it's cheap. Uh, it's common to every human being and life form uh, on this planet, and we all carry it with us wherever we go. It's always there, constantly available, never ceasing from birth to death. Breathing can be experienced directly without a need for thought. And that's how powerful it is for this meditation. It is a very living process, an aspect of life that is in constant change. Thus, the breath is a miniature model of life itself. It shows our connectedness with all of life. The process is simple, but not always easy. When you first begin, expect your mind to wander off and dart around. Try not to worry. This is called monkey mind, and it is something that many meditators experience. When it happens, just note the fact that you've been thinking, daydreaming, worrying, whatever, gently but firmly and without getting upset with yourself at all. Simply again and again and again, bring yourself back, returning to the sensation of your breathing. Becoming totally aware of one small unit of time with just one single inhalation, let us be on our way to a whole new experience of life. I would invite you to sit up nice and tall in your chair, wherever you happen to be. Align your back as tall as you might, and your arms come to rest in your lap. 
let yourself be comfortable with your head and your back aligned, your hands folded, and your eyes closed. In this practice, stillness is encouraged. If you may find a position in your body that you might believe you can be still in for a while, we let the waters on the surface of the lake of our mind in stillness become crystal clear. Of course, at any time during the meditation, if your body becomes too uncomfortable, please, of course, feel free to make a shift. With your eyes closed, settling into your seat, allow your breathing a natural rhythm. Feel the quality of this presence. How just a few moments to collect your breath brings you to attention. Listen to your heart. What brings me here? What am I here to receive? Our entry into presence is through the living body. Scan your body, feeling any tension or tightness, other areas that are numb, others relaxed. Put your soft attention, accepting, opening to the sensations of your body. Feel the brow smooth the eyes soft, the jaw, the tongue relaxed. The shoulders allowed to drop, feeling the length of the neck. Hands rest effortlessly, softening. Feel your soft breathing belly. Allow a 
a scan of the legs, feeling their stability and strength. Release your breath slowly, letting go. Relaxing outward. Relaxing down the entire length of the body. Feel in your body where the breath is most predominant. You can allow your breathing to be directed into any part of the physical body you wish. Extending your breath into your body is extending your awareness Feel the inflow of breath through the nostrils. Cool as the breath comes in. And the outflow of breath through the nostrils warm as it flows out. Inhale, cool breath through the nostrils. Exhale, warm breath through the nostrils. Follow these sensations of cool and warm. As air comes in, you may say silently to yourself, in. As air flows out, silently out. Remember that when the mind wanders, this is not a problem. This is not a mistake. Bear witness to the mind wandering and gently bring your attention back. This is insight. When attention drifts and we can notice, we simply bring it back.
Continue to allow your breathing to happen naturally. There is no need to change, but simply follow the sensations of air coming in and out of the body. When thoughts appear, say silently to yourself, thoughts. If you hear sounds that draw your attention, sounds. Opening your heart to any emotions you're feeling. Silently identify. We do not judge or analyze. We simply let go and bring our attention back to our breathing. When I breathe in, I know that I am breathing in. When I breathe out, I know I am breathing out. As experience arises, open to what arises, feel receptively, allowing all to be allowing all to change as it does. When an experience, a sensation, a thought, or an emotion no longer calls your attention, rest again in the breath. Say yes to what arises.
continue to breathe and dedicate a kind, full presence to what's right here. Relax your heart. Allow life to be just as it is. As your breath flows, expand your whole body on a cellular level. Feel the energy of your body, the whole body breathing. We close with a blessing of loving kindness. What wish, prayer, or blessing would you offer your own life, your own heart? Take a moment with sincerity to receive your own blessing. Your breath, your energy, your consciousness, and a deep connection to all of life flows more. Feel these waves of loving kindness flowing from you. What wish prayer or blessing would you offer to the life that's within and all around you? Feel this blessing of peace and kindness. touching the lives of all beings everywhere.
Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy, free, safe, and at peace. May my own life call all beings to join me in this peace. Om Shanti. Om Peace. It has been a joy and a pleasure to lead you today in this guided Vipassana meditation. I hope it has brought you much peace and calm in the midst of the day. I will say on behalf of the CCC community, once again, these, are, these experiences are available every Friday and online through our website. So please come back again. Thank you so much.